Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shield of All Ages Hollywood Shown out here, about to give you a brand new series called Marvel Strike Force. And I actually have a future sponsored video to go alongside of this, which I will be showing you guys in a follow up video. But I have to get them my account ID. Now, I have not launched the game before, so this is a brand new experience. So, we're going to be opening up Marvel Strike Force right now. And this is a brand new game that just went global today from Fox Next. And just to let you guys know, the company 47 that sponsored that Suicide Squad video is back for another video. So a big shout out to 47 for that. So it looks like Blasters and Brawlers, so it kind of has the same thing like Combat and Blast in Future Fight. And yes, we're going to skip the intro. So Raid Challenge your entire alliance to work properly to complete a series of missions before time runs out. So it's kind of like Injustice 2 Leagues. Should be interesting to see how that goes. Hopefully the loot's a lot better. Alright, so Commander, I'm glad you're here. We have a situation. Interdimensional signatures are popping up all over New York City. As Commander of Strike, interdimensional threats are your jurisdiction. I've taken the liberty of assigning you two agents. No one knows New York City like Spider-Man. He should come in handy and he is two out of seven stars. Also get a shield medic that is one star. It looks like Spider-Man is going to be a main character. Looks like Kingpin is helping smuggle interdimensional orbs into the city. We should start by intercepting his shipment. I like how it's a little bit of loading screen to show a percentage. Hopefully, the load times are not that long. And so we'll have to start cutting them out of videos. Hey, Commander, we've intercepted Kingpin's guys transporting the interdimensional glowing things. But Kingpin's mercs won't hand the orbs over. I even said please. That sounds like classic Spider-Man. Alright, so use Spider-Man's basic ability. And it has targeting just like uh, DC Legends and TMNT Legends where you can target a person. So that's a basic attack. And there you see Spider-Man just obliterating that soldier. He jumps back in. Spider-Man evades. That time he took 50 damage. So use the shield's medic special ability to heal your squad. This is kind of just like a tutorial showing abilities. So use Spider-Man's special ability to defeat the remaining mercenaries. That's cool if he has a multi-hit ability. That's pretty badass. So we get a three medal victory, which is kind of like three stars or three crowns. Now bring those power cores back to base. We can use them to open one of the orbs your team recovered. So it's 500 power cores. I'm going to assume this is like a premium currency. Kind of like power gems and injustice 2. 450 power cores. Open the orb you recovered. So it looks like we're going to get 50 of somebody. We got 45 of Luke Cage. And an extremely tough taunting protector with high damage and health. We also get 2,000 gold. And he's also a two-star character, so 45 fragments to get a full-blown two-star character. Sweet Christmas, thanks for getting me out of that thing. Kingpin's abducting heroes around his city. He's using Takaway out of his league. Whatever Kingpin is up to, it needs to be stopped. Count me in. Kingpin's our target. Your goals are tracked in daily objectives. So, play two heroes assemble missions. You get 50 XP and... 15,000 gold. So claim the all clear objective nine times to unlock Wolverine. So basically that would be 10 days to do it. So complete missions and make progress on your daily objective. So we're going to fight this. And only hero characters, no other hero characters available. Collect additional characters and campaign missions through events and by opening orbs. So this is where you set up your strike squad for each mission. Alright, so there's five enemies remaining. I imagine this can get pretty crazy later on. So I'm not sure why there's three dots unless it's how much power it has. I think he's able to wipe three out, unless that means it hits three enemies. Let's just heal them up. Playing a taunt effect forces enemies to target that unit, so. Luke Cage has a taunt, and that can be very valuable, especially to protect Medic.
or if you need to protect Spider-Man as well. Talk characters are always valuable. And you recovered a training module. Let's send Spider-Man through training. Choose train to send Spider-Man through training. And you can tap to add XP. So you can use that to level up to two. Make sure to train your Strike Force regularly. And we gain 10 power from that. A whopping 43 health, 22 damage, 4 focus, and 4 resistance. I imagine focus is like special ability and resistance is resistance that we located kingpin's warehouse your orders are to move in and engage so we're going to heroes assemble and now we're in chapter one two of heroes and completing another mission will fulfill your daily objective so when do we find out what strike is about and what's going on here that's on a need to know basis spider-man all you currently need to know is you need to stop kingpin and recover those orbs geez if i didn't need to know i wouldn't have asked Team power is now 199. Kidpin said you might come looking for him. Your search ends here. Let's just web and get rid of both of these guys quickly. We're actually doing some damage. So the webbing also has a defense down mechanism. So let's actually target the opponent that is lower on defense. They actually threw a heal. Switch targets to focus your squads. Now let's not use the taunt. Luke Cage pummeling there for 33. So now we're just going to use basic attacks to try to finish one of them off. Spider-Man evades and dodges, so let's just keep the pressure on. And one enemy is down. I'm guessing that the bar kind of shows how many turns you have until you can use it. So let's heal. You can use the special ability. It looks like three turns you use the weapon. Defense down. Spider-Man's going to get slashed. And the opponent dodges there, but Spider-Man is going to try to finish him off. Yes, he does. So I can see a lot of strategy involved at higher levels. Usually I like to pick off the weaker guys just to make the easier ones go. So we get one power core. It's cool if you can actually farm gems and stuff through missions. That might be cool. We get commander XP to increase commander level. 530 gold and we get level 1 training modules times 3. Click it over everything just to kind of give new players an idea. So hero campaign progress and we're going to complete that. So we're going to level up to 2. So campaign energy is increased to 61. We get $1,000, 20 power court, and gain 40 energy. So now it says to equip one piece of gear and three heroes assembly missions. Commander, I'm leaving you in charge of this matter. I'll check with you later. Continue the heroes assemble campaign to recruit the Punisher. Let's continue it. So now we're on heroes 1-3. Looks like... Nine missions all together. So we're going to do this third fight. So Kingpin is trapped in heroes and interdimensional orbs of some mysterious alien. And Fury recruited us to stop him. That's all we know. Have you met Nick Fury? I'm surprised he told us that much. Yeah, that sounds just like Marvel movies. So we're going to continue with this. We're not going to level up guys. Unless we can't actually level them up through fighting. That's where Kingpin is keeping those interdimensional orbs. How did Fisk get his hands on alien tech like this? So there's six enemies all together. I wonder if it's two waves of three. Let's start off with our webbing. So this one's lower. Let's see if we can finish him off. Okay, taking some damage. I'm just going to punch and get rid of him. That seems a little more important. We can heal with the medic. So one is down. Two enemies down. Now let's heal. And we're going to talk with Liu Kang. Just to protect our other guys. Spider-Man takes a shot there. Now it should be interesting if these abilities can be leveled up to gain additional abilities. There's a team up effect so you can just combo them and do more damage. That's pretty cool. Kind of like a link up mechanic in Final Fantasy. Fools, I'm a part of something much bigger now. 
Didn't know you could get any bigger. So we're going to take out the sniper first. We can use the webbing. This should be enough to get rid of him. Yes, it is. Now we're going to take out his other goon. Kingpin is using... Looks like he revived one of the guys. And he has taunt, so we have to attack him first. Looks like we were able to get rid of him in one shot. Spider-Man hitting two opponents. The medic takes some damage. Kingpin avoid, get, avoid it. Let's just finish off his goon. I always like taking out the little guys first. Because it's just less overall damage when you're dealing with the main enemy. We're going to heal to preserve that three metal victory. And let's web. See if we can get a defense down. Yes, we do. Spider-Man again dodges out of the way. And let's finish off Kingpin with that punch and kick him with Spider-Man. And Kingpin gets knocked down. Good job stopping Kingpin. It'll take us months to get enough power coins to open all those orbs. And there are heroes trapped in all of these orbs? We'll have to open them to know for sure. I let one of the trucks escape so we can follow it to the source. That's your next objective. Looks like Kingpin was also stealing strike gear. So we get a web shooter, which actually adds uh, Spider-Man. 60 health, 25 damage, 4 focus. So it's a piece of gear, 530 gold, and 3 of those upgrades. The taunt effect forces enemies to target. So let's put that gear to good use. Spider-Man could use some new web shooters. We're going to go into our roster. Increase the gear tier by completing a set of six gear pieces and unlock new abilities. The green icon means you have a piece of equipable gear. So let's equip it, and that will give us more stats. 90 power. Check back off and equip each character with near gear pieces. Don't forget to claim your dearly objective for equipping gear. So now we're going to hit level 3. And campaign energy is now 62. We get another 1,000 gold, 20 power cores, and another 40 energy, putting us at 122 out of 62. So we have to play three heroes of several missions and uh, 10 campaign missions. Objective reset in 12 minutes. We won't be able to finish it before the day runs out. But we can definitely get it ready tomorrow. So login calendar for March rewards. We get 100 premium orb fragments. And obviously because we haven't been playing that long, we'll have to try and get April rewards. Which come out in like 3 days. So if you click in the orb chamber, we can open and get... We got one fragment for Aim Assaulter. We got an improved basic catalyst. No current characters need this item. And we also got an improved confidential doser. Whatever that is. So you need 2,000 of those things to get a free premium orb. There's also a tremor orb, basic orb, gold orb, a training orb, ability orb, and ultimus orb. So I like the fact that you can farm for these items and get the orbs for free and get some random stuff. This is where you can requisition supplies. We refresh your stock multiple times a day, so be sure to check back regularly for new supplies. It looks like you can even get materials. That's pretty cool, so if you don't actually need this stuff, and you can buy power cores for real money. Most popular best offer is everywhere. So you get a free orb every... 3 hours and 46 minutes or 4 hours and there's more stuff to do. Challenges are at level 8, arenas at player level 30, and milestones after Heroes Chapter 1 and also events. In the inbox, you can get a gift of 50 power cores which expires in a month. So when you actually receive stuff like for example 47 doing a sponsored video, this is where I'll be looking at. And you can also check your daily rewards through here as well. So in the supplies is where you can actually buy stuff. And then achievements, you can log in for consecutive days. You get materials, collect three bio characters, 
Reach player level 8, 3 skill characters, spend 5,000 gold, equip 10 pieces of gear, log in for 30 days. And you can even connect to Facebook to get 200 power cores, which is great for switching between devices. It's what a lot of people use for syncing, and it makes total sense. And if you make two supply purchases, you get 30 and 30 blitz charges and two fragments for Hulk. Well, I imagine it's probably going to be a four-star character at 180, if I had to take a guess. And for completing mission 1-5 of Heroes Campaign, you will get 44 shards of Punisher, which is enough. So, let's get up to there. We trace the truck back to a covert Hydra base in the mountains. Hydra, the scary movie world domin dom domination guys, what have they got to do with this? That's what we need to find out. Get in there and find out what Hydra is doing with those orbs. So now we have 205 team power. But first I want to check and see how we can actually level people up. So... Can these other characters get XP? No. So you actually actually have to use those level up materials. So at level 18, you can upgrade the ability with 18 ability orbs and actually upgrade that. But I still want to upgrade the medic just because I think that having more healing is good. Health goes up to 169, damage of 56, armor to 10. Focus to 76 and resistance to 63. Power goes up to 61. So I'm guessing the max level is based on either star rating or what you can actually do. So Luke Cage will also go to 3. His health will go up to 235. Damage 57. Armor 20. Focus and resistance 53. Power is now 94. And gaining regenerate for one turn seems like a really big deal. So, for the first ability, you need level 15 to actually upgrade it. And now we're going to level up Spider-Man. So, he actually has two armor. So, I'm guessing that he's a more offensive character that's pretty squishy. 101 power. Health goes to 242. Damage to 110. Armor to 2. Focus 84. Resistance 66. So yeah, I'm guessing that account level is based on that. So, player level 14 unlocks Blitz, 20 unlocks Alliance, and then Alliance War and Alliance Raids require level 25. So we're going to go back into Heroes Assemble, and there are six chapters in this all together. In this one thing so it looks like there's a pretty deep campaign so now let's actually do this fight how are you guys liking the look of this game so far is it something that you want to download or is this something that you guys might skip because you just don't have time for it i think it's a pretty cool game and i'm definitely going to check it out especially because i have a sponsored video in the works so I'll definitely be looking for that. And we finish off one guy. Because of the level ups, these guys should have a lot more health. It should be a lot easier to stay alive. Let's finish this Hydra Rifle Trooper off. Spider-Man doing a lot more damage. Kicks two enemies. We shoot the one down. One thing I like about these RPG-like games is that once you get into the higher levels, it actually takes strategy to beat opponents. Some of it is gear and star related. But, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Legends, sometimes actually just being able to outthink your opponent will get you to the 3-star. Like, for example, when I beat Krang with a low-level healer. So we get a shield meta kit, which will actually give another gear piece. Commander XP Gold, we get two strikes tactic manuals, which gives damage and focus. That's a lot of damage. And a secure comm link to give health and resistance. We can also get basic orb fragments, and we get training modules, so we get some more gear. Let's see how we can upgrade that new gear. So let's go back into our roster, and let's click on Spider-Man. So we do get another piece. So we can equip a secure combo. That's actually going to make him a lot less squishy, which is good. So now we're going to go to the shield medic, and we also get a strike tactics menu, which gives 67 damage and a focus. That's a lot of damage. We also get a shield medikit, help, focus, and resistance, so she's going to be able to heal a little bit better. And also a secure comlink. 
I think I'm actually going to equip that one on Luke Cage, though. Yeah, it looks like that medic's going to be doing a lot of damage now at 123. can't unequip the gear once you equip it unless you get another gear but we got them geared up nicely so in chapter one five cross the bones defeat crossbones and make your way to the hydra lab and it says possible rewards so you can get all of this stuff for completing it and gear farming i always like grinding for stuff like i think that's one of the fun things of games is actually having to grind yes i hate energy systems in games but as long as the fights don't cost like 20 to 30 energy to complete, I'm okay with that. So now we have 285 team power. Alright, so there's four enemies all together. Let's start with the sniper in the back. That'll obliterate them. Second enemy takes some damage. So we're going to focus on the Hydra Armored Guard. Get rid of it. And yeah, this looks like a blowout. One enemy is left after this. And more heroes for the boss. Didn't even have to go out and abduct you guys. So now we're fighting crossbones. And we're going to break his arm and get rid of him. So that was easy in 1-5. So you're making good progress, Commander. You just completed one of many achievements for Strike. We also get Luke Cage's Bracers. 130 health, 2 damage, and 10 armor. So I definitely like the aspect of trying to farm for gear. So be sure to complete your achievements to collect your rewards. So we're going to get Punisher. Complete the next mission to obtain the final Punisher Shard. All the orbs are being moved to the center of the base. That must be where we'll find our answers. So we have 285 team power. Winter Soldier, too late. The portal's already fully active. Wait, did he say portal? And let's start with the rifle trooper. Let's get him down early. Hits on Winter Soldier as well. Let's finish off the trooper. Spider-Man takes a little bit of damage there. Winter Soldier looks like he's conducting a fire attack on the medic with a lot of damage. Let's talk, just to protect our two other guys that are hit. hit. So Spider-Man, we're actually going to hit Winter Soldier first because he's actually beat down a lot. And let's heal. So it looks like there is a debuff that blocks healing. Luke Cage able to take that. Critical hit and bleeding. Luke Cage is actually in a lot of trouble. He might actually die. I think we might have healed too early. Let's see if we can finish off Winter Soldier anyways. We have him low. There he goes. So now let's take out the trooper in the back. And now we're actually going to web the guard because he's probably going to hit the other guy too. No, he does not. Now let's finish off the trooper. And we still actually win that fight. I was surprised. I thought we were going to lose for a second. Interdimensional orbs, gen genetically engineered soldiers. I picked a bad day to ditch school and join Strike. Yeah, you did, man. Yes, you absolutely did. Great job. Let's go unlock the Punisher. We also get his vest, health, damage, and armor. We also get two more secure comm links. Good for health and resistance. New agents can be recruited from the roster. So we're going to recruit Punisher to the Strike Force and also pay a thousand gold to do so. And we get a two star character, M4 Carbine and Grenade Launcher. Take a moment to train the Punisher before adding him to your squad. You only need two of those XP items to level him up to three. Health goes from 94 to 182, damage 46 to 89, armor 8 to 15, focus 46 to 52, as is resistance. Power goes from 74 to 94. So 
we have a security clearance for eight damage and four focus. We also have Punisher's Vest, a Strike Tactics Manual, 67 damage, and one focus, and another secure combo. So Punisher is now at 118 power, 237 health, 199 damage, 20 armor, 57 focus, 56 resistance, 130 crit damage, 10% crit chance, a lot of stats, I like that, and damage reduced when blocking. So fully loaded is gear tier 3, which is interesting, and then gear tier 4. So it looks like there's four ranks of abilities, and can't actually equip that for Spider-Man. Oh, level 4 required to equip. Okay. Luke Cage, we can equip his braces. 130 health, 2 damage, and 10 armor. That's going to be a nice upgrade. So now he has 375 health. So 1-5 can actually get another gear for Luke Cage. Minor upgrade. And Serum 612, we can get that as well. So the Medic, we can actually equip another combo. 10 health and 4 resistance. Alright, so we get another day of login reward. We get another 50 cores. So the daily objectives, we can equip a piece of gear. Play 3 assembled missions, 2 heroes assembled missions, and finish 10 campaign missions. So, claim the all clear objective 9 times to unlock Wolverine. So I wonder if you have to do all of these before you can actually hit the all clear. So let's go into 1 7. And we can get a DNA, Strike Tactics Manual, Beta Cloth, and also a Power Core. Colonel Fury says you need some firepower, so he called you. Things are worse than I thought. I'm here to do whatever it takes to complete the mission. That's what I'm afraid of. Fury said you needed a hand. Good thing I have two of those and a whole lot of guns. So now our team power is up to 421. You will not stop Hydra and its new allies from converting this world. So let's start off with the sniper. Let's see if we can one shot him. Not quite. Still want to focus on the sniper and. I think that's a high damage. Oh, yeah, it is. Punisher takes a hit there. Punisher takes a lot of damage. I don't think I want to taunt yet, though. Let's get rid of the sniper. I'm going to heal with the medic the first chance I get. Red Skull doing something. Looks like he brings another enemy in. Hits everybody there. Now we're going to get rid of the rifle trooper. And heal. We badly need that heal. 211 heal. That's pretty good. Punisher does finish that guy off and hit the second person. That was a nice explosion by Punisher. Takes out some guys. I don't want to taunt with defense down. Let's actually go after Red Skull next. Now is when we actually want to take out the big guy. Let's just work him over. And that should be enough with Punisher. Yes, Red Skull is down. So now let's web the last guy and finish him off. Punisher is definitely soaking up the damage, and Luke Cage able to finish him off with the help of Spider-Man with a team hit. That's a nice combo. Hydra is sending the orbs through an interdimensional portal. We need to shut it down. Nice little reward. It's nice that you actually get the power cores by grinding. So you definitely don't want to stay at full energy. So there's a campaign energy refill to refresh your campaign energy. If you're not out of campaign energy refills, you can use power cores to recharge your campaign energy. So I wonder if that's a resource you can get over time. So now we're in 1 8, playing with portals. Stop the Hydra operators from sending the orders to an interdimensional portal. So is there. Okay, so that's a stage you can actually collect Punisher fragments on. So yeah, it looks like it's kind of like Injustice 2 where there's a couple battles you can actually farm for materials. Those Hydra operators are sending the orbs through that interdimensional portal. 
I got this. The rest of you move out of the way. Punisher, we need to work as a team if we're going to get this done. Fine, Cage. How do you want to do this? We take down the operators first to stop them from sending the orbs through. You could take the lead on this one, Cage, but if things go sideways, I'm doing it my way. Also sideways. Alright, so we're going in the battle again. Hydra operators are sending the orbs through the portal. We need to stop them before they send all the orbs through the portal. This mission has a special objective. Take out the Hydra operators before they get to stage 4. So I still wonder if it's better to take them out first or go after snipers. I think we'll go after the operator first. There goes one. I want to bullet the sniper. That does some nice area damage. Punisher is really beat up. One more guy goes down. Four enemies left. It's actually hit the soldier. Also hitting one of those guys. The Hydra operators have sent the first orb through the portal. So let's heal up. We need to get Punisher back to full. Let's take out the mercenary so the less damage we take, the harder it will be to not fail. Now I think I do want to taunt with Luke Cage. And let's kick this guy out. No portal for you. Into a mine, that looks badass. Just blew him up right in the portal. It definitely got some nice special effects in with these attacks. I like it. And Luke Cage is gonna get the kill. We stopped Hydra from sending those orbs through the portal. But I get the feeling this fight is far from over. Guys, my spidey sense is going off the chart. Something big is heading this way. get more serum 612 and secure comics I like the 140 health so before we do the final fight let's actually check our gear so we get level 4 campaign energy to 63 get another 20 power cores and a thousand gold 40 more energy so let's actually go into our roster and let's level everybody up to 4 315 gold to level punisher up 282 health, 100, 221 damage, 24 armor, 59 focus, 58 resistance, 129 power. And we can equip one of the serum. More health on Punisher seems really good. So now his health, 422. I also want to put health. I can't actually do anything with him. What can we do with Spider-Man? We can give him more health as well. So now his power is at 118. And the shield medic we can't actually do anything with. Alright, so now in the final fight, it is 12 energy, and we can get two fragments for Yandu. We can also get a T1 ability material, which is going to be useful for upgrading skills later on. We also can get a security clearance. And crystals, whatever those are for. We can also get basic orb fragments to get a basic orb, so we're going to spend the energy. What now? Now we take down these weird blue guys guarding this portal and destroy it. You make it sound so easy. And we've got to level everybody up to four, but I'm sure we'll be okay. If not, then we'll just redo it. What's the deal with those blue aliens guarding the portal? Don't care as long as they go down when I shoot them. So let's take out the Reapers first. throw the bomb. Actually, it didn't knock him out, so we gotta go like that. 
right in the dick. Throws him out. Punisher is heal block, so he can't heal. So I kind of want to talk with Luke Cage when we can. Punisher is still able to get a kill, so we're going to talk with Luke Cage, though. Punisher is protected. Luckily, we did level Punisher up to 4, so he's got slightly better stats. I'm guessing Yandu is the last guy. Now we can heal. 223 heal. I'm going to save the webbing for Yandu. Oh, it's not Yandu. It's Hulk. Hulk smash! Uh, guys, what's the Hulk doing on the wrong side of the good guy line? The smash of the medic for 148. We need that talk back. Now let's do the weapon on the Hulk. We'll have to wait quite a bit to heal. Can't taunt either. Let's see if we can blow up Hulk. Not quite. Charges and he that's a lot of damage. The medic is gone, so we're not gonna be able to pre-start. Hulk is almost eliminated. What was up with that weaker but eventually equally scary Hulk attacking us? That was not the Hulk from our dimension. He was a corrupted version from an alternate dimension. Who in the what now? Get back to base. It's time I told you the true purpose of strike of what we're dealing with. I guess that means we finally need to know. So that's our first non-three metal victory. And we do get a T1 ability medal. We also get more orb fragments. Alright, so now we can actually go to chapter two. So backtracking on chapter one, you can get Yandu fragments for completing that. So there are five attempts. And there's 10 attempts. It looks like 5 attempts total for the missions. And those missions where you actually get the heroes cost more energy. And the ones without cost less. So you have unlocked events. Here you will find special events with unique and valuable rewards. Most events only last for a limited time. Be sure to complete them before they expire. So try completing the Electra event to obtain Electra. Which has 323 days apparently. So possible rewards for level 4 plus. Let's take a look at this. See if we actually need to level up. We're getting reports of Electra running rampant in Hell's Kitchen. Daredevil, work with the commander on this. I'll take a team and track her down. Looks like Daredevil has joined our team. Let's actually go after the Hand Assassin first. That's Electra as well. Let's also web them too. Again, I like the idea of actually taking out lower health opponents. The Punisher gets rattled by Electro. Actually, the Medic gets rattled by Electro. And that's a stealth effect, which means you probably can't be targeted. That's a lot of damage on Daredevil. With a counterattack. So let's heal. And let's rock it and finish this guy off. Electra is actually pretty low. I'm going to talk with Luke Cage. Let's bat this guy down. So because of stealth, you can't target as expected. So you have to hit the goon first. I imagine that once they get out of stealth, you can hit them like normal. Looks like it lasts more than one turn. That's going to hit everything, I can tell. Not enough to eliminate. Let's finish him off just so he can't do any more damage. Looks like we're going to be able to beat this Electra stage the first try. Yes, we are. Electra, the senseless killing has to stop. Murdoch, you fool, it's not me. Someone is committing crimes in this city while wearing my face. I was closing in on the imposter when you jumped me. That explains why we have a common enemy. If we help you with the imposter, will you help us stop the one she works for? Gladly. So we get 15 fragments for Electra, which is enough to unlock a one-star version of her. So 
Yeah, yeah. Sneak attack into the sh into shadow. So into shadow attack primary target for 120% damage and gain stealth. Also attack primary target for 95% damage plus 30% chance to apply bleed. And we need to actually get her up to equip it. So let's take her up to four. So, 209 health, 95 damage, 10 armor, 50, 66 focus, and resistance. Let's see who else can get gear. So, you can also earn crossbow shards, so let's actually do that as well. 515 power. This video is actually really long for Marvel Strike Force, but there's a lot to do early on. Get a report to a bank robbery in Midtown, take a team and check it out. A bank robbery, really? While well, there's an interdimensional alien invasion going on? Crossbones is involved. He was one of the first Hydra agents to work for the invaders. It's important. Four enemies remaining. Crossbones is there. I'm going to start with the back soldier. We don't need to get in stealth yet. We mostly want to do it to save health. Let's see if we can get rid of one of the snipers. Somebody get bombed out. Alright, so that's a taunt. Let's just rock it. That is able enough to get rid of the one. Big damage there on Punisher. So let's taunt. I don't know if they have any more area abilities left, but let's just ensure that he doesn't go down. We need a medic heal. Electra hasn't really been damaged. Now let's see. Luke Cage is getting targeted, but he can definitely take it. Yeah, let's just finish him off. Well, Luke Cage is heal blocked. Let's just finish the weaker guy off. Now we'll do the attack. This trips the leg up. Cage not quite eliminated, and we are able to get rid of him. Aren't you supposed to be plotting world domination instead of robbing banks? I don't work for our invaders anymore. They double-crossed me, all of Hydra for that matter. Their brainwashing commando squad should be showing up to kidnap me any minute now. Here's the deal. I'll join Strike and help you fight against them if you protect me from their commando squad. Give me one good reason why I should trust a backstabbing Hydra mercenary like you. Only one? For starters, I know a lot about your enemy's operation. Codes, procedures, transport sites. And I know I pack, and you know I pack a mean punch. Let's get you some security clearance. So we get 45 of the crossbones fragments. So we can get a full-blown two-star character. So we get a two-star crossbones right off the bat. And he's got the Piston Punch, which attacks primary target for 90% damage, 40% chance of a bonus attack for 65% damage, and Wrath gain Taunt, 30% chance to gain Counter. So Counter is actually a really good ability because it means that when you get attacked, you're going to counter attack back, and I think that's a really good Taunt mechanism. So we leveled up Crossbones to 4, health goes from 111 to 267, damage 35 to 85, armor 8 to 20, focus 30 to 35, and resistance 71 to 83, power goes from 74 to 105. Now one thing I'm curious about, we got an inbox message, complete the double cross event, and yeah we already accepted that, so <clears throat> a little bit late for that one. We got three achievements, log in for two consecutive days, equip 10 pieces of gear, and spend 5,000 gold. So it looks like Hulk is the reward you get for objectives, kind of like Armored Superman in Injustice 2. But it also makes me wonder if you're going to get more achievements once you complete it. It looks like you do, because we completed some and they went up higher. So this is our current roster. Let's take a look at all the characters we can get. We can get Yandu, Wolverine, Winter Soldier, Ultimus, Thor, 
Shield Security, Shield Operation, Shield Trooper, Shield Assault, Scientist Supreme, Ronin the Accuser, Rocket Raccoon, Ravager Bruiser, Ravager Stitcher, Ravager Boomer, Quake, Nobu, Night Nurse, Nick Fury, Nebula, Mercenary Riot Guard, Mercenary Lieutenant, Mercenary Sniper, Mercenary Soldier, Cree Royal Guard, Cree Oracle, Cree Reaper, Cree Cyborg, Cree Noble, Korat the Pursuer, Kingpin, Jessica Jones, Iron Man, for 310. Holy crap. Talk about making him like a premium character. I would love for them to just send me an Iron Man. No way to actually get him yet, too. Iron Fist, Hydra Armored Guard, Hydra Scientist, Hydra Sniper, Hydra Rifle Trooper, Hydra Grenadier, Hawkeye, Hand Sentry, Hand Sorceress, Hand Archer, Hand Blade Master, Hand Assassin, Gamora, Drax, Daredevil, Captain America, Bullseye, Black Widow, Black Panther, Aim Security, Aim Researcher, Aim Mistrosity, Aim Infector, Aim Assaulter, and Hulk, along with the six characters that we already have. I'm not sure why the roster is still glowing red like that. I don't think we can upgrade somebody. No, not to my knowledge. Unless it's because we have gear to equip. Let's level Spider-Man to 4. 437 health, 139 damage, 93 focus, 75 resistance. Power goes to 129. Now we can equip that. So let's level Luke Cage up to 4 as well. 433 health, 140 damage, 35 armor, 57 focus, 60 resistance, 122 power. Let's level Shield Medic all the way up to 4 as well. 269 health, 137 damage, 12 armor, 89 focus, 75 resistance. Like everybody's level to four. I don't know why it's still showing that. Unless there's a piece of yeah, we can equip gear. That's got to be why. One button is still red, unless it's supposed to be like that. Yep, still equip gear. All right. Well, now I'm not sure why it's red because we have no more gear we can actually equip it's supposed to be like that so pretty big thing and limited time offer new player special offer purchase this limited time offer to fight with a three-star captain america on your squad it's interesting that they have that offer is there any other way to actually get him offers ultimus orb six nine five nine and three six so yeah you can get him for free no reason to buy him outright if you like this really long Marvel Strike Force debut video, including a sponsored video come very soon, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other Marvel Strike Force videos, playlists, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood shown out, and have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show Now. Subscribe, bitches!